Hi guys. So, um, yeah. Here's, uh, here's what my, so, I'm the Griffin Initiative, if you guys don't know. I usually have an intro thing going on right now. But, um, I've had such a long and rough day today that I've literally, like, just taken my head. Like, I'd love to just take my head and smash it on the wall at this point, but, um, it was really rough and I just blew off so much steam. Uh, yeah, um, just so you guys know, they, Orsinium, they just showed something big for Ors Orsinium, and I think I might end up grabbing, showing that right now. Actually, you know what, I'll do that right now, believe it or not, I will, if I can get to it, but anyways, um, I know... I know you guys are like, wait, you have Tamriel online, what are you good? What are you doing? Are you rebuilding it? I will not. It never got any traction on this channel, it probably won't now, because I've got people from Call of Duty Zombies, and Minecraft, and, you know, a bunch of this other junk. A bunch of this other stuff, like, big Destiny, like, I love Destiny, like, Destiny's great, but, you, know, you can only play so much. I'm trying to find it. Oh, where are you? Uh, but, um, if you guys have teachers that are repeatedly just saying, like, oh, you're not good at this, and if you know that you're really good at it, stand up for it. That's one, that's my one thing to say to you guys for right now as a tip in life. It's, like, if you're in college, I want to do it, but if you're in high school, stand up for it. That's what I've been doing. And it, it works, it works, but... You know, you'll get on pretty thin ice eventually. I don't, re I don't recommend it. With as the soft works. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll you guys over to the. I don't know what scene it was. That's the bad part. Shoot, I think it was scene s seven. No, add, screen capture, shoot, I can't do it yet. Alright, down. Um, and, is it gonna be game? No. Uh, screw it, let's just do that. Uh, yep. Is this one of the outsiders who responded to my invitation? No. Yeah. Messed up. Welcome to Orsinium. Alright, so the first thing I want to point out here is these banners. Now, if you guys haven't played Skyrim, this is actually an area in Skyrim that's completely like. I almost want to say it's destroyed because you walk over these rubble's uh, ruins. And you can kind of see they're rebuilding it right now, obviously. This is way after. I think it's after Skyrim. I think it is after Skyrim. But, um, I'm not. I don't. I haven't played this in forever, so I don't remember. Um, but it's, it's definitely after Oblivion, so it has to be either before or after Skyrim. But I want to say here, um, a lot of this, I'm actually, I'm really excited for this. I just... My son needs someone at his side who has nothing to prove. I am Kurog, king of the Orsimer. We will rebuild Orsinium, make it stronger. Whoever dares oppose the uniting of the Orc clans will feel my wrath. Welcome to my war. The one thing I have a pet peeve about, I'll actually back it up here really, really quick. Right here. 20, over 20 hours of new story content. Is it actually going to be like about Orsinium? Like what's going on in it? Or is it going to be like a bunch of side quests? Like, oh, help me. 
you know, like, kind of like what it is right now in some of them. Like, um, like, there's, like, main quests for the faction, and then there's a lot of, like, side quests that you have to do. Is it gonna be, mo like, the 20 hour, over 20 hours of new story content? Is it actually, like, full-on, um, like, main story? Because if it is, I'm right there with it. Like, I'll, I've already got the, you know, Imperial City, but I, I don't have anybody that's at VR... 14 or you know whatever if I if I could hit 50 and I just keep on hitting it like they did with destiny that'd be awesome I have to drink water but so I almost want to say if it's playable at any level will you be able to play it at level 3 I suck like if I go into Sky, if I go into ESO right now, I'll have four guys. I'll have four guys. One of them will be at like 21. Another one, the next closest I think is at 15, and then the next one is like 10, 10, 10. You know, and they're all. Some of them are like the same faction. Some of them aren't. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go on this. Another thing I want to point out: Will there be new sk skills? I don't know if it if they did ever t said anything about it, but I'm hoping to God that there'll be new skills. One other thing: I just realized that guy was blowing fire out of his hand with one uh, one-handed sword in it. Oh wait, I have actually got this up now. So let me go ahead and look at this really quick, guys. I'm sorry. But you're gonna cut back to me right here. Look right here, all right? I have a level 20 dark elf, which is um, I I've really messed up on this guy. Uh, Stormhaven, all right. I have another one, Griffiny, Griffin I and I, which is the guy that I was doing a play play uh, play through with. And he was Imperial, a Dragon Knight, and Ebernard Pact. Worked perfectly, fit perfectly, you know. But. I kind of felt like the missions in this one were not as groundbreaking. I felt like they were not very grounded in a way. Um, then I have these two. Um, most of them are at level 10 and 21. This one's at level 7. But uh, anyways, you know, I'm going to get a lot of hate comments. But, uh, you know, just saying that there's a lot of stuff that we can do differently and better. And that they could do differently and way better and this game like I don't want to see Elder Scrolls ever go away like I love Elder Scrolls but if they're gonna make Elder Scrolls 6 I'm hoping that it comes out really soon because this game like it captured my attention right off the bat I'm a solo player so I don't play with other people very much so and also the grouping system it's not like the fire team system from Destiny you know the leader does not pick and choose your quests like if you have the same quest it should complete it with for you if you're in that group, like you should have to physically be with that guy, unless you're in P PvP, you should have to be physically in that area with him. I hate the way that they've done the grouping system, where I could be, you know, halfway across Tamriel and he's on the other half, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm way over here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do." I'm hoping they fix that. I don't know if they have. I haven't played this again in a while, but I have seen some gameplay of it lately, and it looks like they still have the same system. Like I understand why they did it, but if they but if they could do it, it'd be amazing if they had it like this. Because I know the way Xbox does this, and I know the way a lot of other people do it. Um, but I'm really hoping that that fixes. I haven't played the PC version, so if people people on the PC are saying, It's fixed! It's fixed! I don't play it. I used to play it. I don't play it anymore. I'm not planning on going back to it. Um, if they did add you know, something that's really, really cool for PC only, I might go back for it. But I won't, will not play it pay for the pro like on this I'm an idiot because I'm paying for the pro like if I go into options I think it's like uh ooh, gameplay what's this wow one option vibration camera invert Y camera sensitivity let's keep it there uh but you know it I I feel very sad for this game like this game I was really looking forward to but once it once I got it for me, it kind of flopped, but we're going to go ahead and keep going with this. So by public dungeons, are they able to be soloed or two-manned? That's my question. 
It looks like possible soloing because if you actually move back here, I'm going to use my arrow key. Whoops. But I'll, I'll just let it run up to about here. You only see one guy in this picture, so I don't know if he's if there's a healer further back healing him or if he's just going to tank this guy. But I'm hoping that there is a solo, a little bit of a solo thing in this because if there isn't, then it, you know, again, I am a solo player. I don't like to play with other people. When I do, I'm wishing that they fix this group system to where it's like the fire team system and Destiny, but that's my opinion. World group bosses. So, I'm assuming that they're saying, now I'm not saying this is like a huge news video. I'm saying, will you get it and will you play it for a long time? This is what I'm asking. Anyways, this is also my opinions on it. And I'm I'm just trying to calm down from the argument I just had. But, um, you see that right there is, that's fire. So, I'm wondering if you can finally do what you did in Skyrim. Because if you can, I'm all for it. Like, I'll play it right now and I'll go... I'll do what I used to do all the time. Heal and sword, one handed sword. I was the biggest badass ever because of it. And I had and I had a skill set change where I could go from that to dual wield to uh two handed. I was so excited for it and then they took it away in this. I was like, I wanna play with I want it Skyrim, but with friends. Is that guy's arm missing? Like look at that. I think his arm's missing. Like sir like look. You can see his like body outline like right there just a little bit. But uh there's his arm right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that detail though. I mean like I'm a guy that looks at detail in the swords. I would play with that sword in my hand all day long. So one thing I'm hoping that I I've heard that they're bringing back is um Glass armor. I'm really excited for that. If they bring that back and you're able to play it with that and just look like a badass, full on for it. I'm like, yeah, let's play. Let's do it. I don't care. I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that's like, okay, I look like a badass now. My level's really low and I suck. How do I get better? You know that. I'm like that guy. But whatever. Now that hammer looks a lot like the hammer saw. New crown store items. This is what I'm really, really excited for. The Maelstorm Arena. Now I'm hoping that this is at any level. I really am because if it's at any level, you can grind this system all the way up to what like if they still have VR when this comes out, I don't know if they still if they still do veteran rank system, not virtual reality for those guys who don't play this game and are watching this still like I'm I'm surprised if anybody's still watching this but um anyways I know that this is a really shitty made video because you can see the YouTube bar line in my mouse and you can see the name of it and def yeah anyways guys I want to bring something to your attention I'm not that really really good oh shit okay good um I'm not that guy that's like really, really hooked up. Like he has everything he needs. I'm getting ready to mute my mic better way, guys, and like stopping and restarting recording. So, um, anyways, I'm hoping that this is solo, like real, true soloable. Like if it is, that's amazing. Like it says solo challenge, but if it's really soloable, it should be from like level three on, like not level three because you'd have to like I would say complete the entire first area first. So they have, then they give themselves a goal, and after this, like say, you get up to level 20, and then you have to complete another area. And like once you get to level 50 maxed out before VR, I think that would work perfectly. But there's gonna be those guys that find out, like, oh yeah, I could just I could go on this guy and, you know, go from this area to this area and unlock that, and it just triggers domino effect. I'm talking about for the solo person, because. I'm a solo guy. I came into this thinking, yeah, I'll solo it. You know, I'll solo the campaign. I'll solo, you know, getting all the way up to VR. You can't do that. And Skyrim got to max level. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like 80. 
or something like that, 90. I'm not going to say 100, but. Um, anyways, the biggest thing I've seen so far from this uh, Tamriel Online uh, Unlimited thing is this. This is what I'm most excited for right here. Is a solo challenge to Maelstorm Arena. If that wasn't there, I would not come back. So it looks like an actual arena at this point. Like it looks like that you, it'll be like in different areas and you'll transport and, you know, it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. That that looks really badass. But um, I'm really I'm nervous, but at the same time excited because I'm like I'm paying fifteen dollars a month for this game. I'm I don't play it right now. I'm not playing it right now. You know, but I'm there and I'm still ready to go. So I'm like I'm just waiting for some actual solo material because if if this is what it sounds like it will be, then this is perfect for me. You know I'd love to play this. So this is the one thing I so this is like kind of like a pet peeve and hope for video and also like a news flash video on this channel I want to play Elder Scrolls Online and Tamriel Unlimited again I want to play it with friends but I don't like the group system because you can like there was one time where I had a bounty on me they gonna pay for me I had no money I had a brand new character you know just trying to make my way in the world and I found this really nice looking steak I'm like that's really good looking steak I should eat it and you know I'm role playing so I go steal the steak and then the guy comes up he's like you stole my steak and he tries to kill me. I kill him, unfortunately. I knock him out with my fists. And next thing I know, I'm getting chased down by guards for, you know, a nine cent thing. I'm like, well, if I could just get to my banker, I could get my money. Unfortunately, the way that they had it last time I played was that the banker would not allow you to go in and take your money. They should be allowed, you know, I know that this is like, there's reasons why. But I'm like one of those guys that's like, I see something, I want it, I'll take it. It's a video game. But this is the big, 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 big thing I've been looking forward to was the solo stuff. I'm going to actually rewind that to here. This, right here. This is what I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping that you guys are too. Um, you know, I'm going to have a couple people and we'll play a little bit, quite a bit. Um, so yeah. Like, rate, subscribe. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a really crappy YouTube video maker that made this really crappy video. So, um, it's not, well, I wouldn't say it's crappy because it's 720 and 60 frames per second. And probably get exported at 1080 by 60. So, I don't, I don't really know if it is or isn't. But, um, also, guys, uploaded, I just really uploaded this. You guys should go see it. Seriously, go do it. See you guys later. Oh, one other thing. I will also allow you guys one one thing, all right? When I am playing a video game by myself and I'm like I just want to, you know, I when I'm playing by myself, I usually do like to play by myself. If I want to play with one of you guys, now don't take this offensively, but if I want to play with one of you guys, I will invite you. Like I'll say, "Do you guys want to play?" Yes. I will invite you. Don't join up on my game, like ASAP, because then it then that just irritates me. And it irritates you because I'm irritated, and I'm like, well, I, then I just don't want to play. I've had it happen to me several times now, and it's not the same guy. It's a couple other guys that just jump in, and they're playing with me. Now I'm not I'm not being like I'll never play with you. I will play with you. It's just that right now, as a YouTuber, you have to set standards. And unfortunately, when you do, it hurts people. So that's the sucky thing about it. I just realized there's like a black outlining. I don't like that. Um, but anyways, um, I'll see you guys soon, I guess. Uh, there will be videos, more videos on this. Uh, I'm getting ready for it. Hoping you guys are too. See you guys then. Bye!